Welcome back. Uh, we're going to get into the uh, the winners, right? The uh, yeah, the, no. This is the final match of the group. Yeah, the, the mm. what, what, what one guy wins. <laughs> yes, one guy wins. Yeah, yeah just I as in every Hearthstone match. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got Forsen here. That's Stop. right. We have Forsen. Yep. yep. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I saw you uh, playing quite a poker hand earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I saw you lose that. That was awesome. Yeah. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. You know. Yeah. I'm mostly I'm, I'm lose. A, no, I'm up one thousand four hundred euros. That's a lot wow. of euros. <laughs> that is a lot of euros. Is it like how all late did you stay up to do that? Four a.m. yesterday. Wow. Oh, well, actually, I, I was up that late stuff. casting. Oh yeah, yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, we were. Should just be in there playing poker. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, we have another promotion to show you guys. Um, so let's just get into that real quick before we start the match. We are going to have uh, Sixo versus uh, Saviz, I believe. Saviz ended That's up beating right. uh, Tice in the losers round. Yeah, three to two. Yeah. The promotion is on Take TV Twitteroni. So you guys can go to twitter.com slash Take TV, or you can put that thing in the search thing Aroni there. And the first, the most latest tweet right now is uh, who's that guy? Uh, He's very handsome, that's for sure. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, what I'm holding up there is uh, a Looks signed like to me. Take TV hoodie. I think all the uh, all the cool people signed it. I don't know. Did you get a sign? Uh, no, just the cool people. Okay. Yeah, I didn't sign it either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw your name on that hoodie. Actually, I, I signed it too. Don't okay. worry, guys. Oh, did I sign it? Yeah, oh. I think you did. Okay. I didn't yeah. notice. Okay. Anyway, so this is signed by basically all the cool people, which is Basically everyone here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just about. <laughs> just about. And uh, if you guys want to uh, win this awesome hoodie, you guys just have to uh, tweet to Take TV your favorite uh, moment of Seat Story Cup Three. Yeah, make sure you're hashtagging like that too. Yeah. See. Yeah, you need you need proper proper Twitter format. Yeah. Which and I if you're not at. capable of doing that, you're not. I am win, totally so. not capable of doing that. But yeah, I, I I try my best. Anyway, so if you guys want to uh, have a shot at winning. Just uh, throw a tweet their way, and um, the the things will be raffled off at the end of the tournament. So that'll be at the end of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep, good stuff. More stuff to get. So many great raffles going off. Uh, yeah. Definitely go and participate in these while you're watching, because you're just sitting there at a computer anyways. So you may as well do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's so, a good hoodie. Try it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah, I lost my baggage, so I got the, the hoodie the whoa, first whoa, whoa. day I came here. You didn't lose your baggage. Okay. No, okay, I... Okay, <laughs> so basically... Okay. <laughs> basically, I didn't have any time to check it in at the airport in Sweden because I was too late, you know, so yeah. I had to leave it there. I had no clothes to so take him away. So are they holding your day. bag at the airport? Yeah, you can lock it in for and pay for every day you have it in there. So yeah. you had enough time to lock it in, but yeah. not enough time to check I, it in? Yeah. Wow, that's I had, like really tight. <laughs> it is super tight. I was 30 seconds off lethal, but you know, I made it. Yeah. I'm here. Totally worth. Well, I'm glad that you came. I'm Thank sure you. that you just had fantastic matches as well. Yeah. <laughs> Never lucky, <you>, baby rich. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, we're going to get in this first game, guys. Uh, it looks... Oh, God. We're going to see the crazy shaman deck. Mm, shit. It's like less and less crazy the more, the more we see it. It's just yeah. like kind of mech mage with Fail Reaver instead of Fireball. Yeah, it's just, it's it's been doing good for Six of this tournament though. Like, yeah, it's it, like killed everything so far. Yeah. Did you see that he actually got a free loss because he queued? Yeah, with, it, yeah. The same thing happened with uh, Show versus Farmer, where Farmer queued Druid, uh, which was oh, bad. Oh really? So. Was uh, it was it handled the same way? Yeah, it was handled the same way. But Faramir offered to give him the free win before, uh, like, th because the admins didn't know what to do. There was no oh, rules for this. So, uh, good guy, Faramir. Yeah, really. He is a nice guy. Yeah, I thought that one way you could handle it was uh, you let the opponent choose which uh, deck you should start with. The the guy who yeah, that's, a good that's, one. that's like what that already you yeah. said. Actually. Yeah. I like that better. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, but. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, I like that. I think that's actually more fair. Now that you say that, good work. Well, six to one anyway. So whatever. I practice a lot. Whatever. BM. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, it is a uh, demon lock against mech mage. Mm -hmm. Looks like about the slowest, worst mech mage start or a mech shaman start that we've seen so far. Yeah. 
Yeah, without that fell river, most of the creatures end up dying to like hellfire clears. So yeah. you kind of have to watch out here. Like if you get your board clear, we, the main weakness of the shaman deck is that you just run out of steam. Mm. Even worse than neck mage. I can. Not a bad imagine. draw actually. Getting a second mistress there mm -hmm. against the Niagara shaman like this. I think I'd go with the Earth Shock on one, hit the same one with the Power Mace, and then uh, kill the other one with the Juiced Up Macaroni. Seems good to me, man. He's yeah. gonna he's gonna opt for the Rock Rider though because he's uh, uh, saving the Earth to get through Taunts, uh, so he can get that final burst with Lava Burst. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. That makes sense. He does have quite a few Wind Fury cards though. I'm a bit surprised though why he chose to play the the Mechanical Yeti here instead of the Shredder. But maybe he's like, like he, a spare party he's looking he, for. Maybe he feels it like does, he's. It does oh, play around Hellfire yeah. and uh, Mortal, Mortal Coil. Coil yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I would definitely say that's why. Crackle. That's a lot of damage in hand. Yeah, I think. Would you lava shock here? Because that's like that's nine to phase. That's not a lava shock. I mean, earth shock. Yeah. Tomorrow it'll be lava shock. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? No. I think there's going to be exactly zero lava shocks tomorrow. I think you're exactly right on <laughs> precisely how many lava shocks we'll see tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> he did decide to uh, shock this, which is pretty good, but this is still pretty weak to the Hellfire Model Coil yep. play, uh, yeah. which he was playing around earlier, so it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, what, what is the better play? He could have used uh, a spell to get through that and save the HP on the Yeti, but uh, then he might not have enough burst to get through the, yeah. uh, the end. The second so he, round of taunts. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's, it's good. It, it's super nice to to keep all your bursts in your hand. So I like I like it. Mm -hmm. I think he's dead to a nice nice little crackle next turn if he doesn't taunt. Like if he does Emperor here. Well, he's not gonna do that. Wow. Okay, so he's gonna Why silence the Shredder here. Ugh. Power Mace, a really good draw. That's uh, six, seven, not, no, not quite enough mana to play all that. No. That's still a lot of damage. That is 18 that he has. Yeah, you do roll for a totem here for sure. Uh, hopefully it's Taunt or Heal. Heal, that's good. Nice. And then you... Power Wait, no, the owl. It, no, no, no. If he got a spell damage totem, that was lethal with a good crackle. With a good crackle. <laughs> with a good crackle. Yeah. yeah, with a good crackle. The, the four damage into the, the void, void walker, a six from a lava burst, and a potential seven from crackle. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, hellfire too late. A bit too late, uh, that, but it's still not bad. Nice. Uh, I mean, yeah. you, have, you, you know that your opponent has... You're going to die if you use hellfire uh, unless you tap no, no, you no if you get a freeze, uh, spare part from... Yeah, 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 freeze, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. Well, that's, that's the stage of the game that we're yeah, at. Yeah. <laughs> but that's too risky, I think. I well, think is there another play that lives through the next turn versus the board? Is there anything you can tap into? Um, another Belcher, would that even work? No, that wouldn't no. work. Uh, look nope. at the damage yeah. he has in hand. He actually needs to get that uh, freezing spare part for him, but we know that no, he, he has still the dies though. Because yeah, yeah, spell. But, but he doesn't yeah, know that, okay. so he doesn't yeah, know that exactly. So he's he's trying to think if there's anything he can draw, but sadly there is not. So he's gonna go for the freezing spare part here. I, I believe, by the way, that no, a flip would work too. Unbeaten so far today, or uh, so far a in the flip would have worked. No. Uh, three plus four without tapping. Yeah. Yeah. It, without tapping. But six uh, once again gonna take a win with this very strange shaman deck. Is it strange? It's strange. It's, it's strange. strange. Yeah. Mm. Fell rivers and <laughs> yeah. It's it's like. Okay. I'm not sure how good this is against Hunter. I think it can be quite good actually because you can raise the Hunter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I've I've seen exactly that. Yeah. It's like um, the hunter goes face, and you're like, well, my creatures just do more damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. We can play that game. Yeah. Yeah. Palma is really good against Explosive Trap to get him out of range. Mm. Uh, like, it's, it's, I think it's really good versus Hunter as well. Mm. I don't know if it's really good, but it, it, 
I think it would like a f- with a fair draw from both. It does. Yeah, matter. I mean, remember the old time, uh, like last season's Story Cup when Savic won with double doom hammer, yeah. lava burst. That, that was a really good version of his hunter. This also is. It has the doom hammer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it does have double lava burst and crackles. It's like I don't sh- know if it's double lava burst. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure, but I think there is double lava burst. I haven't I've ne- seen. I've both never of seen. Okay, yeah, I've never okay, seen there might at least be one, time. but it's still like uh, really good with the crackles and stuff. Mm. Well, the next time Zixo plays, uh, oh, wow. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see the cards fly on the Fell River. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Savage playing the Hobgoblin Paladin. Yeah. That's fun. I and actually think it's not that great against Mage, is it? I don't think it's very great at all, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. But oh, it's great against it's Savage just like control decks, I think. I, I mean, yeah. There's been like a lot of debate as to whether or not this deck has any value. People are really thinking one way or the other. Either a, it's like really good I mean, or really Savage crappy. Savic went on a, on a streak mm. like 10 or 12 in a row on ladder with this deck. Um, but that just might be variance, you know, and like people are not used to playing this. So they, they're mulligan for the other stuff, yeah. like standard control paladin. But I think Six pretty knows what's up. Like, and he, I think he knows how to play against this. Deal with the Hobgoblin at all costs. Yeah. And uh, avoid and, and play around Divine Favor as much as you can, and you should win this. That is actually not a bad. The light protects oh, he actually gets it with that. Okay. Yeah. It's normally, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Some classic BM. Besides <laughs> to get rid of the mech, I guess playing around Blast Mage. Blast Mage is probably one of the strongest uh, moves you can you can play. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, I think we're just going to see a ping and an Oitron here. And Actually, uh, no. I, I think attacking the mech is still bad, even if he had a Blast Mage. Because, I mean, you look at that. If, if you attack the, the, the slime with uh, your 3-3 three, three Wisp, we're casting a tournament, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's an actual tournament with, with Wisps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... But if you did that, you'd you'd not run into the the double one two, and you still couldn't ping down your, your bigger creature. Mm-hmm. Double knife juggler, and it hits. Well, I guess not not sure about uh, how good that second attack were because he's most likely gonna trade both of those into the knife juggler anyway. So yeah. one HP wasted on that ooze. Um, what to do? Because you really need to, to like. Divine Favor is the last card in his hand. He needs to play around that at the same time, so he opts to play minions instead of using hero power here, uh, which is good. Yeah, and then what extra health does mean it would have survived this attack? Oh! That is... I, I don't like that draw right there. No. It, it, this, is a, this is a pretty big 50-50. It needs to hit on the juggler. Yeah. yeah. I would actually attack first, maybe, with the juggler. Would you? Oh, you won anyway, it's fine. Uh, yeah, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah. matters. Yeah. yeah. Always The lucky. outcome. Always. The outcome of RNG. Yeah. Well deserved. Reporting for duty. One time. So. Wow. All right. Yeah. This is the part where six goes tilt. Mech Warper. Not As the best two, of draws. 50 50 is one. Fireball the juggler. <laughs> Fireball the knife juggler. Yeah. So Wha- sick. What else are you gonna fireball? Yeah. Is there a bigger creature? No. Hey, he might be able to divine so, favor. Sometimes for one. there's that there's that five eight Jeeves that we've heard oh, about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. with one uh, with one uh, hobgoblin. hobgoblin down, yeah. it's not gonna be that devastating. There's a divine favor for two cards. You can't really expect more in this matchup. Abusive, really good. Uh, he gets to keep a charge on his weapon. The problem is that he doesn't have any minion with two health so he can't really play the Blessing of Might. Yeah. He can play an next turn. Yeah, trade. And th- he's only done four damage so far, by the way. This is definitely an issue at this point. But you have to consider the tilt factor. He's won a lot of Let coin flips. Think. That's true, he has. Yeah. Wisp, not the best top deck here. Nope. Uh, the thing is that the longer this game goes on, the mech mage has the more, the stronger minions in his deck, so yeah. it's gonna well, he has Doctor Boom and Antonidas, so it's like nothing. and Doctor Boom and Doctor Boom. Yep. But it, 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 turn seven bombs. already came and went. Doctor Boom is not making an appearance this oh. game. Oh, okay. 
You ever seen one on turn eight? No. <laughs> I think I saw one last game when you cast it, when he had a taunt and like the boom. You try hard in again, Forsen. <laughs> you gotta chill out, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. I wonder. So he's thinking whether or not he wants to. I think you do, might kill the shredder, but yeah, you I need to do. do it because uh, blast mage would be oh. devastating. He's not gonna do it if he attacks this way. Yeah, he, yeah, he would if he gets a, a high high taunt like um, like Fine. a ghoul. No, no, he's not gonna mm. attack the shredder. Is what he's saying. Yeah. It's like you can't attack the shredder after playing like that. Okay. Saves that plus him, right? Yeah. Just want to ping down. He wants it. And there's oh, the top pick last man. Ledge. Damn. Slam. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Well played. Well, yeah. Savic did know that one of the that one of the card was a, a time rewinder. Or not a time rewinder, but a spare part. So mm. it's understandable not playing around. Uh, oh, Playing around it, but that spare parts yeah. could be another uh, two minions down and two uh, direct face damage. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh my man. god! Well, there we go. And he gets. To, oh my god, this is so gross. Does it a second time. <laughs> well, it does set up for lethal, so it's not a bad play. So he's not with the best hand to combat this board. Incoming divine yep. favor. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. Bad enough. <laughs> yeah. This paladin deck, I'm not too confident with it. Yeah, he has to win a game with that. Uh, I, it's like doable, but the last deck left here is rogue, so mm. seems a bit difficult. Blade Fury probably pretty mm. good at cleaning one health minions. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the the other thing is like um, if if you get the right hand, it, it would work. Like, what if you just get prep sprints and creatures? Yeah, yep. of course. You're just gonna divine favor mow them down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We even saw, uh, you know, a freeze mage destroy a warrior the other day. So which which I predicted. Yeah, you're very good at predicting the end. You're the basically a doomsayer. The yeah. one in five brawl. You look game. like you'd be in 07 also. Yeah. So yeah. one in five brawl, and the other trick is to get roughly six fireballs off Antonitis. Yeah. It works. Well, I mean, why don't why don't all mages just play that way against warriors? Well, they should. Yeah. Yeah. They're bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So if he's going with warrior, probably what? increasing his uh, yeah. chances to get a point on the board at least. Yeah. He wants to um, get some momentum back yeah. before he plays that paladin again. And he'll get to <laughs> he'll get to like acclimatize himself to playing against rogue and seeing all the different cards. Yeah, there's a whirlwind in there. Yep. Hmm. I think two players we saw had one whirlwind each to, uh, over this weekend. Not a bad hand from uh, Sixer here, getting both four minions and a three up. To play on turn oh, three. that does seem like a good whirlwind play. What? The, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the fiery war axe. The uh, mind games begins. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a silly mind game though because uh, he's pretty sure that he would have played an armor smith at that point. Where one or might have been a fire war axe actually, but yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I think fire war axe is reasonable there. Not good, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Playing a uh, naked acolyte like this is always scary against Rogue uh, because uh, poison. Uh, but it's gonna, uh, it's gonna pay off this time. It's gonna come out the teacher because it doesn't die to armor up shield slam unless it trades the acolyte as well. Mm. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna see that whirlwind here and execute. Well, wow. how about that? That's a good draw. Good draw. Good draw for sure. Do you think we'll see a well played? Mm, no. I think, uh, I'd give him three thank yous right in a row right now if I was Savitz because Sixa really likes to BM people with that. So yeah, and that's funny like because uh, Sixa is one of the most uh, tilted players when it comes to emoting. Like if someone yeah. emotes him, he gets super tilted, but he always likes to emote yeah. people. Like it's so silly. Well, that would be why he likes to emote people because he knows how it makes him feel. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Looks Probably like has something a, to do with his childhood. The, the I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Going deep, Doctor <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Oh, you can give his creatures weapons. That's sick. <laughs> yes. Now, this right. accolade represents an extra draw if it's not dealt with right away. And yeah. can't you deal with it right away? Nope. 
He, uh, he can. He can prep yeah. the SI, then fan nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's a sick play. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Yeah, it's it's quite awkward. Uh, I think you just attack and you stab the acolyte and you re dagger. Because he's gonna get that um, card no matter what. Yeah. And then you might as well use the mana to finish it off. Because next turn you have uh, Emperor, which is really good. Especially if the warrior just used his uh, death spite. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Sure. No worry over Zona turn. Emperor. That was the fastest turn I've seen the yeah. entire tournament. <laughs> it was pretty quick. It's like holding that card up there before he even draws. Yeah. Well, what can you do here? It's um, actually quite awkward. I think it's a it's a weapon yeah. into armor shield slam. Yeah, agreed. I think yeah. I. Yeah, that spite is fine. I think he's gonna um, armor up and shield slam as well. Yeah. yeah. With that spite, he might as well. He might do it with the fire works actually because uh, he can then play uh, uh, armor smith as oh, well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is better. An armor smith behind stud belcher is really good. Not as good when you just blow your shield slam like that. But. Well, just the health itself is pretty all right too. Yeah. Right. I have a feeling I know it's coming down next turn. It doesn't fit curve, I don't think so. Ooh. <sighs> hmm. Not that great. Uh, this is awkward. Like, the fact that he has an armor smith behind there makes things way harder for 6 0. He's going to get a super cleave strike. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's afraid of playing Dr. Boom because of mass armor, but it's still a better play. It's more mana efficient than uh, <laughs> the others. That is a turn seven boom. Yeah. It counts. Turn seven boom generally wins. I don't know if it's going to this time, though. What do you mean? The Slash is going to attack a bomb and kill itself. Oh, that would be a mistake, wouldn't it? He can prevent that by using Running his axe it. No, on the bomb. No, no. No, he can actually run it into the Dr. Boom before the bomb gets a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You're right. I wonder why he's not um, drawing first. He might draw into Shield Slam or Execute. Or yeah. Like, in this scenario, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's going to go for the draw first, which is the better play. Another that's weapon. Good oh, that's card. good. That means all four weapons. Yeah. <laughs> of no, course. That's a good try. <laughs> Same fate for the Belcher income. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it's like really, really true. <laughs> Whoa! It's gonna go. Oh. It's gonna kill Doctor Boom here. Okay. Yeah. I think he was planning on. It's better to kill Doctor Boom than the the Boom Bot. Yeah, I guess. You still lose your Sledge Belcher. Yeah. Both ways. Yeah. But now, what will this Boom Bot do? Okay, so he can uh, he can uh, play Violet Teacher, Si, and Edwin here. Uh, he can even prep if he wants to to get a bigger Edwin, prep the fan. But now it's kind of weird. Uh, the thing is, like all the plays a rogue has involves instantly creating a huge board that's gonna get ridiculously countered by the brawl. Yeah. yeah. This guy's oh, no poison, no poison. Come on, poison. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Well. The Brotherhood shall come Do you brawl this? It depends on the top deck. Shield Maiden. Oh, this is awkward. Ah. I wonder. That is too big. Well, you're not dead, dead. You're no, pretty you're not, dead. You're not technically dead at this moment, but you. What do you think about just uh, Alistraza or It's like Ysera? 18 points right there. Hmm. The thing is, if you Alex Rasa, you know that there's a possibility for oil next turn and a sap, because uh, no saps or oils has been used this game. Mm. Uh, and if you sap your Alex Rasa and it oils, what is your follow-up play? Then you have to brawl anyway, and then you're gonna just gonna take a lot more damage by waiting. Yeah. Uh, I think that it's very annoying that 
you feel like you need to take this much of a risk when you're uh, the superior class in this matchup. But and uh, down two games. This yeah, game. but uh, maybe he needs to go all in here with the brawl. It's not even that bad if like it, it is really bad, but it's not that bad if 8 8 survives. Uh, he still has a lot of health and that shield maiden to go, but he's gonna go for this play, which is wow that brawl that low top though. Pretty useful. Uh, low thub oil wouldn't be bad as long as the oil doesn't hit. The low thub. So many options. Prep oil low thub. You could do that. You could do that. I don't uh, think prep is that important right no. now. Like, and the then you think you're gonna prep in the future is a sprint, anyways. Yeah. I well, mean, you you could prep oil then violet teach yeah, low thub. You could, but then you play everything into brawl. Yeah. Everything you have nothing left if he, if he brawls. Yeah, I don't he think can, you, he can yeah, you do. You have the eight eight. <laughs> <laughs> of yeah. course, very silly. So he's going for this play. He doesn't want to take the thirty three percent chance um, to lose the oil there. Well, we're definitely gonna see a brawl this time. I wonder if he's gonna trade uh, or attack to play on. No. Oh. Well, I mean, this is this is actually just straight death, isn't it? No, if he brawls and the, the shield maiden, oh. has to win. Shields maiden wins, then oh, he got a BJ there, uh, so he yeah, can actually. If the wins, then he's okay too. If what? Oh wait, no, no because no, it costs no. ten. Yeah, it yeah, costs ten. You, if you BJ to eight eight, you trade the five five into the six three. You attack that. You armor up. You're at six. He's at yeah. He's at six power. So he's gonna die. Brawl right. time. Brawl it. Oh shit. <laughs> this. You don't attack first. No 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 because that shows that you don't believe that she can win. Yeah. You leave that attack. That's oh true. yeah, that's, that's true. true. You're dead no matter what. Because so. does she have any confidence going into this brawl? No, no confidence. But otherwise, otherwise, chat will say misplay. Yeah. Oh. And that's it. It's game. Yeah. So these is out. Ouch. 6 0 advances. Yeah. With a 3 0 victory, too. That's really strong. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, that means that Archon has really crushed that group. Mm hmm. 6 0 and Orange come out on yeah. top. Yeah. And Tice and Savitz. Uh, both fallen. So now uh, I'd imagine the uh, the other group has not yet uh, completed, as that was a pretty yeah that was quick. pretty quick one. Um, Maybe just refresh and check. Yeah, let's just let's just have another look here. Yeah, it looks um, like Ignite and Lothar uh, won their first rounds. They're actually really behind, from what I can tell. Yeah, it looks like it. I think we have a little break uh, coming up on this stream. Yeah, but if you guys want to watch some more uh, more Take TV tourneys. Uh, there is the other stream that you guys can check out, and in fact, you guys can check out uh, the paused stream, the break stream, and the real stream at the same time That's right. on the multi-stream functionality. Isn't that great? On TakeTV.net. Well, we have 6-0 here, guys. Uh, six -0, congratulations, 3-0. Were you thinking it was going to go like that? Um, no, I think my lineup was favored against this, but I didn't expect a 3-0. Did you like that Paladin deck? Uh, I think it's bad. Yeah, but you liked <laughs> it then. That's yeah. what I said. <laughs> I think it's I think it's pretty bad. Especially yeah, again. I have like no real control deck. So all my decks can play around divine favor, so mm -hmm. I expected it for him to be hard to get rid of his paladin deck in conquest. Yeah, so the, you got mm -hmm. We actually thought he got uh reasonably lucky with the paladin deck and it still didn't really work out at all. I mean I got pretty lucky with the Plast mm -hmm. Mage, but I had a turn before where yeah. Plast Mage would have already won won me the game and I also had Doctor Boom and Rack, which would kinda do the same. So but if I would have just like Top deck to two, two drop at that turn, he would be in a good position. So it kind of came down to RNG. Well, all right then. Um, so you've you've basically advanced to the playoffs. That's that's some great stuff. I don't know how they will be uh, ordered tomorrow. Yeah, I, I would but, say probably um, him and Orange will be on opposite sides. That's generally how you do it. And any comments on what we Rick. can expect from you uh, <laughs> in the next round of decks? Um, As strong I mean, or stronger? I mean, I will use a new card. I can say that. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Lava, Lava Shock card. is coming, guys. <laughs> no, He's putting Lava Shock in that Obviously, face aggro, warrior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the axe thrower. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. If, I, if I were to guess, I would say Imp Gang Boss, because that's the best one we've seen in that mm -hmm. collection. Uh, and nice. he tries to swipe. Did you actually, yeah, did you actually know the axe thrower <laughs> synergizes really well with the terribly bad luck Matter Bomber? 
Yeah, that's pretty sick, it's actually. It's on curve. It's like a yeah. four mana pyroblast. Yeah. Also, I will play Mojodormo in every deck tomorrow to counter Sylvanas. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear Major Demo is a great card when you give it to your opponent. Yeah, it is. Yeah. If only this 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 mechanic was something like you could rely on. Something. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see decks like that. Well, uh, success! Congratulations. Thanks. We'll let you get to it, guys. Go check out the other stream because that group, Group B, is still finishing up over there. So I think they uh, actually they actually got at least one more round of, of full games. Yeah, I think They're so. Quite behind. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're going to go on a quick little break on this stream, but when we come back, we're going to start, I believe it is Group C with Show, Johnny Druid, Alesh, and Life Coach. We'll open up with Show and Life Coach. That should be a good one. Oh, that's a sick one, yeah. All right, guys, so uh, thanks, Forson. Hope to have thanks. you on the couch Double more run. later today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, guys, we'll see you in a little bit.